Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about tips on freshman year in high school. This video will be one of the most useful videos you will ever see on my channel. Because freshman year is such a hard time to figure out what your place is, I have made a video to explain all of it. So the first thing you should do is whenever you walk into the campus, you should try to meet other girls or meet other people that have similar interests to you. And the way you can do that is if your school has like a directory, you can go and see who has similar interests and who could you find. Um, who, so someone in your grade that has a similar interest that you could relate with, or maybe you both like the same musical artist and you both went to the Taylor Swift concert and you want to go and talk to this girl about Taylor. And so looking at like the school directory is a good way to see others or figure out where others live and if they live in your commute. Another great thing you can do whenever you are looking to find someone to meet, you should just be friendly. They should smile, make a good impression. This is your freshman year. It's like your first year of high school and you don't want to be like the mean girl or, or someone that doesn't have like a <clears throat> a happy face on. And so it's good to like, you know, have a frown here and there, but you should try and like make a good impression because, you know, you don't want to be like halfway through your freshman year and people already think that you are the mean girl or someone that people don't want to be like talking to. Um... <clears throat> and high school is a very different environment than middle school, and I think that it's it's a bit easier to make a good impression because there's like more people in um, school with you. Um, middle school may have been like a smaller environment. Like if you switch from public school to private school, it may be quite the transition because you have like you know a smaller group of people in your um, at your school, and you know making a good impression is always great. The third thing is know your, know your place. Know that you are a freshman, you're still like new and you still don't really know everyone. So it's trying to get into other grade levels away. And this is not exactly a tip, but <clears throat> it'll be helpful when you like progress on to your junior year because that, by that point you'll already know like, the environment of the school and you'll know your place. And freshman year, you just want to be transitioning into like the classes and how the teachers may be interacting with you and you want to get yourself familiar with like the campus. If it's like a three or four minute walk between English to math class, you would want to put that in your schedule and know. And if you know your place, that's great. Cause then you know, like, oh, I'm a freshman and I should be keeping in mind of what I do. And I should try not to like cut off a senior when they're walking to class. Another thing to keep in mind is just study hard and make a plan. Starting freshman year can be overwhelming, but making a plan is, you know, is a good thing to do. Make a list of assignments for each class, and you can color code each class based on what classes you may have. For example, let's say you have, this is an example of a schedule that you may get. You may get like a French, you may be in a French class, a history class, geometry, wellness, English one, you may be taking an honors class, you may be taking chemistry or physics or even a computer science class or an AP physics. So there are so many classes you could be taking. So it's important that you like make a list of what you're gonna do for each class. And this is just an example. You may not be taking computer science in high school. Hey, you may be saving that for like your senior year and you may not have a study hall on your schedule. You know, that could happen any year. I mean, freshman year, they normally will give you a study hall, but the rest of the years, I don't know if they'll give you one. So it's good to like figure out, you know, make a plan. Another tip is to join a sport. Joining a sport like cross country is always a good idea. That way you're that way you're not bored when you get home. That way you're not bored when you get home. That should say not. That way you're not bored when you get home. And if you don't want to do a sport, you should probably join a club because otherwise, like what else are you gonna do, right? You can, you know, be jumping over hay bales, you could be doing any of that. You could be like You could be doing learning a sport like cross country is always a good idea. That way you're not bored when you get home. And you can always do a club. Okay, last video I didn't mention. 
the Arlington Museum of Art. And I did mention, like, I saw, like, the Taylor Swift exhibit and and these are the albums, Fearless, Taylor's version, Midnight's Red, 1989, Taylor's version. I didn't mention I was going to, like, post the video, and I never did. And that's, you know, not good of me. And I went to the museum, like, two or three times. And I went there with different people each time. So I probably should have made a video or like a vlog or like a iMovie whenever I went, but I didn't. So I'll be sure to do it because y'all know that movie's coming out and y'all know that there's a new merch. And third thing, this 1989 album is going to be one of the best re-records. It'll be, best, it'll be one of the best re-recorded albums that Taylor's ever done. She's done Red, she's done Fearless, she's done Speak Now. We're waiting for the reputation we record and... We are, we want to see 1999 Taylor Swift. This is like one of the album covers of that album. And we know that the movie's coming out Friday, so it'll be great. Thanks for watching. Um, please be sure to watch that for the AMA video. The exhibit is not open, like it's closed. Because it closed in September and now it's October. If you're watching this video not in October, then you may want to look up the site. It's ArlingtonMuseumOfArt.org. Again, it's ArlingtonMuseumOfArt.org, and it's one of the best things that you can that you can do whenever you're um, bored. You go to the Arlington Museum of Art, and you go to the past exhibits, and this way you can see the Taylor Swift, the Heiress War Collection, and you can see all the archives and all the pictures and everything, really. Like, it shows you everything from the exhibit and all the archives and everything that you need to know whenever you go. And yes, it was in March, but it's the best.